What is emotionally focused therapy? And I guess, why should you care? Well, if you're in a relationship, you should probably know about it. Um, if you want to better your communication, you should probably know about it. If you want to better your connection, you should probably know about it. Emotionally focused therapy is a type of couples therapy that is designed to help both individuals feel secure, feel close to each other. Uh, let me give you an example of a common thing that happens. So let's say someone has a really bad day at work. They drop the ball, they messed up. Um, so instead of going immediately home, they, they go out and they grab a couple of drinks, but their partner is at home waiting for them. They're feeling alone, they're feeling anxious. And three hours later, when they come through the door, they're like, where were you? What were you thinking? What were you doing? I was sitting here alone by myself. I was worried sick. I thought you'd got hurt. What were you doing? Why didn't you let me know? Meanwhile, the person who had a bad day at work is feeling guilt and shame. They're, they don't want to fight. They, they've already had a really hard day and they say, you know what? I can't do this. I don't want to fight right now. And they leave. So this person who was alone all day, their attachment need was to know that the other person was there. It was not being met. They felt uh, alone, anxious. They, was, they were then critical when the other person came through the door. And that person that came through the door, they didn't know that they were good enough. And that was their attachment need. But that was kind of triggered from something else that happened that day. So again, they're feeling that and they start shutting down emotionally and they withdraw, leaving the first person alone again. So then it's, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. There's a pursuer withdrawer dynamic that neither person feel close, understood, connected. Emotionally focused therapy teaches couples to be vulnerable, to say, hey, this is what is happening. So instead of criticizing, I was feeling so worried. I was so worried that I need to know that you're okay. I need to know that nothing has happened. So instead of an attack, it's a lot easier to hear. And perhaps instead of withdrawing, that individual says, I dropped the ball. I messed up. I don't feel good enough. I just need to know that I'm good enough. You have these two competing styles of resolving conflict. One wants to hash things out and the other just wants to brush it under the rug and not fight, maintain this kind of homeostasis, if you will. Um, but side by side, it can become really difficult for either person to feel heard, for either pe person to feel understood. So if that dynamic is familiar, if that dynamic that I described, if that makes you think of how you and your partner respond, then emotionally focused therapy is something that I suggest looking into, if not to, to do and to kind of better your relationship, to simply learn about. Maybe it's a workbook, maybe it's learning about it, maybe it's simply just like recognizing your pattern, your cycle, so that you can stop it. So that you don't leave the other person hanging, so that you can, instead of withdrawing, you can come forward and say, this is my experience. So that you can feel connection. With emotionally focused therapy, they took couples who were uh, feeling disconnected and they, they did a study where they gave the, the woman a shock and they measured her pain. They had someone hold her hand, the pain went down. They had her husband hold her hand and the pain shot up. The brain was saying, watch out, look out, because they were in need of therapy. They weren't connected, but after, I think it was 14 weeks, after going through therapy, they repeated the pain was, we got it kind of a baseline. Uh, stranger held her hand and went down. Husband held her hand and now it went down a lot. This time, the brain was saying it's safe. You're okay. He's here for you. It's physical pain. Now imagine how much 
easier things are emotionally. And this isn't a new thing. You see this with kids. A, a kid scrapes their knee and a parent kisses their knee and then the kid runs away like it doesn't hurt. There's changes in the brain. It actually doesn't hurt anymore. They feel security. That security helps. So emotionally focused therapy guides couples towards that type of security. Um, I encourage you to, to look into it, to learn about it, because if you can feel that more, that'd be great, right? Go ahead and click like and subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Thank you for your time.